Tonight, a look at a growing problem, suicides in the military. A study by the U.S. government found that there are 22 deaths a day or one every 65 minutes, even though there are programs to help veterans. News Age Barbara Barr shows us what's going on in York County. When I got back um, through this, I kind of isolated. Bill Kohler is an Army National Guard veteran. He served in Iraq as a combat medic, enduring physical and emotional wounds. You're going to have issues like anger. Um, you're going to have isolation, uh, long periods of depression. Kohler shared his feelings at this program put on by the York County Suicide Prevention Coalition. Speaking out is something he says many soldiers are reluctant to do. Everybody said, don't talk about it. If you talk about it, you ruin your career. Your military career is done. The mental health of those who've served is a growing concern. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, there were 349 suicides in the U.S. military in 2012, a record number compared to 301 in 2011. I think a lot of it is lack of services when they come back um, and the situations they come back to. The transition from battlefield to civilian life can often be a difficult one. A lot of shooting going on. Life is so different back here, you know, compared to Iraq and Afghanistan. Kohler says having a son helped him conquer some of his demons, but says it's still a struggle and it's important to get help. It's a shame that we can serve our nation so proudly, but yet we come back here and we have to fight again. In York, Barbara Barr, News 8. The York County Suicide Prevention Coalition is part of Penmar Community Services. We've set up a link to its program on WGAL.com.